Josh from the Riot Report. Um, right off the bat, you know, obviously we saw you playing both sides of the ball. Um, this training camp, was that something you expected to do coming in? Was that something the coaching staff had talked to you beforehand or was it just kind of a, Hey, I can play, I can play both sides. Uh, it's actually a unique story. You know, um, you know, I got picked up as a DB played all the DB in college. Uh, but in high school, I was a running back and coach rule when he was at temple actually recruited me at running back. So one day at practice, knowing this whole COVID situation, you never know what, what might come up during the season. So, you know, he was like, let's see if you can still do some drills and went out there, you know, you know, I'm an athlete. So just cutting and doing all the different things, just getting used to it again was, you know, pretty simple. Um, but yeah, so as soon as I did that, he gave me a few days at running back and, you know, I'm just here to do whatever I can for, to, to best suit the team, you know, get us on the winning track. Miles, uh, Miles. This is Miles Simmons uh, from Panthers.com. Uh, great first name, by the way. Um, <laughs> have you uh, have you had any indication as to whether you know you're going to just be sticking at DB or could you see some snaps at running back? What, what's going on? Man, I have no idea. I'm just going, you know, taking one day at a time. Whatever coach puts me at, I know he has my best interests. You know, he's not going to put me in harm's way or make me look crazy out there. But um, I know whatever he puts me at, I'll just do it to the best of my ability. Miles, to that point, it seemed like a little later on in camp, you might have been more a defensive back. It, it, was that your read on it too? And do you think that's your, your best position at this point? Um, you know, I'm open to playing anything, like I said. Um, you know, I, I, towards the end of camp, I did start playing more DB, start getting some more reps. But, you know, you just got to be ready for anything. So, you know, if they call me over there, I'll just go in and die uh, – dive right into the playbook again and do the best of my ability. Miles, from an equipment standpoint, what's the difference between defensive back and running back and like different cleats, different help, different face mask? I would say the biggest difference is when I'm, when I know I'm going to play running back that at practice, I don't like to wear long sleeves. So at DB, I, I wear long sleeves because I like to have the ball against my skin. So I know if I'm going to get reps at running back if beforehand, I'll try not to wear a long sleeve. That's probably the biggest difference. Hey, uh, Josh, again, um, what was your Saturday like? You know, obviously, uh, cut day is, is a – it can be a stressful day. Um, what, what were you doing? How were you trying to distract yourself? Kind of what – take us through that day. Oh, Saturday was a stressful day. You know, couldn't really sleep. Woke up on an off day at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, couldn't really do nothing. Um, went, got breakfast, just sitting around next to my phone. Every call, I'm like – my heart is like jumping out of my chest, uh, out of my skin. Um, I stopped like answering people's text messages. Everybody's asking me. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just waiting to hear something. Um, really just what I did was watched a lot of Disney plus, you know, went back to my childhood days to try to like ease my anxiety and ease the, you know, the, what if, what happens. Um, so really just watched a lot of Disney plus and played the video game all day. Uh, and follow up to that. Any favorites on Disney plus something that was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my favorite, Top three I watched uh, was probably Mulan. You know, I'm getting ready for that Mulan, the, the real one to come out. You know, it's, it's streaming on Disney Plus. Um, Mulan, Hercules, and I would say Aladdin. So I watched the real version and then I watched the cartoon version. So, you know, Disney Plus got it all. <laughs> Mulan was was legit. Um, yeah. yeah. Jonathan Alexander, uh, Child Observer. Are there any um, movies that Disney Plus needs to add? Um, I don't even know if it's Disney, but Oliver and Company, that's probably one of my favorite, you know, you know, seeing the dog singing. I like to see like different things. So I, I love the singing ones. Any singing movie they got, they might as well put it on there. Yes, I have when, was last, uh, when was the last time you played running back before you just started doing it in practice? Uh, first time I played was my last time I played was my junior year of high school. Hey, Miles, you just spent a month or so in the same, well, in some meetings with Christian McCaffrey. What was your, what was your take on, on being around that guy? What did you learn about him and, and off the field? So first day when they put me in uh, uh, running back in the meetings, I'm like, dang, I told my friends that, well, I'm about to be in the same meeting room. You know, I was a little fanboy at first, you know. 
I'm about to be in the same room as Christian McCaffrey, you know, same dude I was playing, trading for on Madden last year. So, you know, um, it's just a blessing to be behind someone who has knowledge of the game and seeing his work ethic and seeing how he can take care of his body and just taking the little points that he says in meetings and seeing how he practices and how he comes off the field, even though he knows off, he's still asking coach, what do I have on this play? Was that the right depth? Was that the right, uh, was that the right read? And just asking those simple questions to make sure it's going over in his mind and he's seeing the same thing the coach is seeing. So just taking those little things and also bringing it to the DB room, bringing that same work ethic, you know, that can only help me. Miles, I was wondering, do you, do you remember getting recruited by Coach Rule? And if so, what memories did you have of that? Yeah, uh, I think Temple was my second offer with Coach Rule. Uh, my, what was it, probably my freshman, sophomore year. So, you know, I remember going up to Philly. I'm only an hour away from Philly being from Jersey. Um, and at first they wanted me for DB because, you know, I went as an athlete. That's what every school was treating me as. We'll pick a, we'll pick a side when, we, when you get here. But then towards my, my junior year, I had like 34 touchdowns at, at running back. And then they, every school wanted to put me at running back. So then um, we started going. I started going up there like every other week on unofficial visits. Then I went to prep school, going up there with a couple of my teammates. So it's me. I've known Coach Rule for a while. Um, my, my parents know Coach Rule, Coach Foley, uh, Coach Coop. So I've known a lot of people on this staff for a long, long time. And Miles, I'm, I'm curious from a player's perspective, how different was today's practice, you know, been to this the week of different from previous practices that you've been to and, and the vibe was like everything? What oh, I actually, I like how practice went, um, you know, still had the same attention to detail. Uh, everybody's still trying to fly around, you know, get ready for the upcoming uh, Sunday. And, you know, everybody's just really dialed into the little things, you know, running to the ball, making the right checks, being, being vocal communicate, making sure everybody's on one accord. So um, practice went well, I feel like. Miles, there were a couple of practices where you were playing both defense and then offense. Sometimes I believe even on the same drive, like how were you able to do that mentally? Um, really help from everybody around, you know, I come into the defensive huddle, which I knew more because we did most of the off season on defense. So that, that was pretty easy. It was just when, I would go over to offense, the offensive people, offensive teammates, like they kind of helped me like in the huddle iron. You line up on this side, just they just they, they would just tell me what footwork I had. I knew if it was nine or two, which side to go, but you know, they would help me out. So I would I appreciate everybody on the offense for uh, helping me along the way and just with open arms, you know, nobody really like turned their back on me. Even if I didn't have even if I didn't know it, somebody would help me out and let me know, all right, you do this on this play. So it really was smooth sailing knowing both sides.